in your text usually they call it just sigma x but it's actually not a great notation it is much better to call it sigma xx which is the standard in all the in all of mechanics so you should get used to this okay and also whenever you do finite elements this that and the other that's what they're meaning so when i say so what do i mean so let us make sure sigma xx means the force component so force per unit area on the face pointing along the x axis by pointing let me make, make it very specific whose nose points along the x axis whose nose or normal points along the x axis so this force per unit area on the face whose nose or normal points along the x axis and it is a x component that's how it goes so the second x tells you which which component of the force we are talking about the first x tells you which face we are talking about so if i say sigma xy it means the y component of the force per unit area on the face whose nose points along the x axis let's see if you can draw this okay so here is the bar so i first i want the face whose nose points along the x axis so here is my x axis here is my y axis so what i do is i cut there is the face that face the nose points along the x axis can you see that nose points that way okay so on this face the y component of the force so if there was one it would be like this that's that and that's usually that is called shear stress if the force on the nose point in the same direction it is called normal stress if the force points perpendicular to the nose parallel to the face then it's called shear stress so when you rub your face you are doing shear stress on your face because the force that you are applying is perpendicular to your nose when you pull somebody's nose or your own nose then you are applying normal stress to your face it is your your force is pointing in the same direction as your nose okay so this is the notation so let us see if if we really know this so let us try i have a nice little square and i want to say what is sigma y y so let us again say x y so before i try it you try it i will tell you what it is so then you can try it okay so so pause this, pause the video try it and then come back and take a look so what i am going to do is i am going to look at the y component and i go up here and i say okay here is the y face because its nose is pointing in the y direction right and the next thing is here is the direction of the force and it is also in the y direction so it is going like this that is sigma y y let's see what do you think sigma minus x minus x will be what is this so here is my cube or square 
I start out and I say, okay, phase is in the minus x direction. This is the x direction. This is the y direction. So this is the minus x direction looks here. So that's the phase. And the force is also in the minus x direction. So that's also pointing this way. So that will be that. So let's try something else. How about sigma y x? Well, let's see. Here is my rectangle. First is the face y. So we know where the y face is. That's that one because its nose points in the y direction. And then this is in the x direction. So x is this way. So it's going to look like this. So what I would like you to do is try sigma minus x minus y. What's that? Pause, try it yourself, come back and, and we, we do it. Okay. So here is the rectangle minus x. So nose has to be in the minus x direction. So that is here. The force has to be in the minus y direction. That is there. Make sense to you? So please remember, that's what it is. So now let's try, try and get a little bit more ambitious. And we will try on a cylinder, okay? So here is my cylinder. Here is the cut. I'm going to draw, redraw this cut in a big way here. Okay. So just to make sure we are all on the same page. This is the R direction. That's the theta direction. Upwards is the Z direction. Okay, so now let's try our stunt. What is what is sigma or r? Hmm. Pause, try it yourself and come back and then try. So did you pause? Did you try it yourself? No, you can try along with me. Okay. So first thing I want to decide is this guy. R face has to be perpendicular to the R direction. So the nose is perpendicular to the R direction means it's that one. Can you see that's the phase that we are talking about. Its nose is, its nose is along the R direction, not perpendicular to the R direction. It's along the R direction. So that's what it is. The next one says the force must be along the R direction. So we are talking about this way. So that is sigma R R. Now try sigma z r. What do you think that will look like? Okay, pause, try it out, come back and again. So let us see. Face is along the z direction. That means its nose must be in the z direction. That's this one. So it's this particular deal. That face. And then 